Now to another kind of war, a war to dominate 6G technology. Yes, you heard that right. Even though 5G is still being rolled out across the world, South Korea has set its sights on becoming the leader in 6G. Seoul has announced that they'll roll out 6G commercially in the year 2028. That's two years ahead of schedule. The government has allocated about half a billion dollars for research and development. Remember, South Korea technically won the 5G race in 2019. Its cities have the highest average 5G speeds in the world. It is the second highest number of 5G patents after China. But now South Korea wants to lead the race in 6G. But what exactly will 6G look like? How much of the technology has been developed so far? What kind of strategic edge will it give South Korea? And where does all of this leave India? When was the last time you had a 10-minute long phone conversation in India without disruption? We are technically rolling out 5G. Most of us are supposed to be on 4G. But when your network lags, you know what telecom tech support says? Switch to 3G. India has a long way to go. But that's a story for another day, perhaps. Tonight, let's talk about South Korea's 6G ambitions. 5G, or fifth generation wireless, is the most advanced mobile broadband technology in the world right now. When it was first introduced, it sounded almost magical. From remote surgery to self-driving cars, from drones to virtual reality, 5G could do everything. The world is still getting used to it. Only 13% of mobile phones the world over have 5G. But South Korea is in a hurry. It has unveiled its 6G plan. And it makes sense to do it now. The race for 6G network technology is already on. South Korea wants the head start. Its government has unveiled the K-Network 2030 plan. And it has called for South Korean firms to lead the way. The government wants 6G rolled out by 2028 and pre-6G technologies ready by 2026. Before we get into the details of the plan, let's understand what 6G is. 6G stands for the 6th generation mobile system standard. It will succeed the 5th generation of 5G. 6G was earlier expected to be available in 2030. Presently, there's no fixed definition for what will qualify as 6G. The only thing that's certain is that it will be much faster than even 5G technology. Seoul is bankrolling a feasibility study for 6G. It has allocated about $481 million for the research and development. The government also plans to preemptively invest in the new tech. It will fund 6G. Seoul is encouraging local manufacturing. It threw the gauntlet at giants like Samsung and LG when it unveiled the plan. In fact, the plan was unveiled at the Samsung Electronics R&D campus in Seoul. The government wants the firms to locally produce materials and equipment for 6G. It wants an AI-based cloud network built on South Korean AI chips. That's a lot of demands by Seoul. The idea is to encourage South Korean firms to meet the targets, setting a deadline, if you will. It worked during the 5G race. South Korea won that round. Its government wants to keep up the momentum. If South Korea succeeds, what will it mean for the rest of the world? The biggest loser will be China. During the 5G race, the world became wary of China's intentions, specifically the risk of espionage via Chinese 5G networks. The US, UK, Australia, New Zealand and Canada have said that Chinese equipment poses significant security risks. In 2018, the US put restrictions on doing business with Chinese tech giant Huawei. Other countries followed suit. But by then, it was too late to stop China from dominating the 5G space. This time, nations are building 6G technology independent of China. The West wants to stop being reliant on Chinese mobile technology. For that, South Korea's success may be crucial.